Yan, hello and uh, good morning. Good morning, Sir Angelo. Magandang umaga po. Sorry, kami ito. Good morning. 
Yeah, so maraming mag- magandang morning po sa ating mga teachers, sa ating lahat. No? Uh, and uh, again, um, good morning sa ating lahat. Alam natin, it's Saturday. Uh, we're supposed to, again, lagi natin sinasabi ito na we're supposed to be resting on a Saturday. <laughs> Pero syempre, uh, lagi natin din in, uh, in-stress ating mga teachers yung tuloy-tuloy na pagkatuto. Uh, yung, yung sinabi nga Sir Angelo, no? And nandun sa last na talk niya on um, on critical thinking. On uh, yung learn. Okay, learn, uh, unlearn, learn, and relearn. Okay, so tuloy-tuloy po tayong uh, uh, mag-unlearn, uh, learn, and relearn. Okay, so Sir Angelo, uh, kung gusto po mag-greet, batiin ang ating mga audience, no? Uh, uh, good morning po good morning sa po. lahat. So nakita ko, nakita Sir ko, Franco, Sir ang dami na ng ating mga, 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 mga viewers na naman. Viewers so, na naman. So, 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 at, sa ating mga kagapay, again, again, maraming salamat po. Salamat po. Kahit Sabado, kahit nag-rest tayo. Pero nandito pa rin tayo para mas matuto. Sabi nga ni Sir Ranko, learn, learn, relearn, unlearn. Ito ay kailangan natin, especially sa ating setup na yun, Sir Ranko, na distance learning. Yes, correct, no? And siguro, no, um... Itong magiging uh, topic natin for today is very uh, ano to no uh, talagang we designed this to to target yung sust- um, sustaining no tsaka supporting uh, distance learning kasi alam natin lahat naman tayo nasa distance learning na ngayon um, be it a private school a, a public school lahat tayo ngayon ay uh, on the ongoing distance learning na so ngayon uh, sir um, ano no sir Angelo will be focusing more on um, looking at Uh, tools na pwede natin gamitin to support distance learning. Oh, yes. Uh, hello, Sir Nalco? Uh-huh. Sir Angelo? Nag-e-echo. 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 <laughs> Oo nga eh. Uh, i-check po natin yan. No? Uh, Ayan. Uh, isang reality ito, Sir Franco, minsan sa, sa online learning sa atin. Even in ano uh, distant learning, siguro, lalo na kung may mga blended learning, may mga times na nag echo tayo or may mga times na hindi natin naririnig ng mga sarili natin ng maayos. But again, tuloy pa rin tayo sa ating uh, ginagawa dahil ito ay para sa mga bata. Ayan. Uh, okay na ba, sir, nung ating audio? Okay na po. Ayan, okay na daw. Okay Thank na you. Daw. Thank Ma'am. you. Ma'am. Ay, ay, nag-e-echo. <laughs> nag-e-echo. Ayan. Okay. Sige. So, uh, Sir Franco, mag-iumpisa na ba tayo sa ating uh, uh, discussion? Oh, sige. Uh, Sir Angelo, uh, I, I think nagkakaroon lang problema kasi pag nagsasabay tayo ng audio. But uh, I think we'll just have to uh, uh, alternately mute no for for the meantime para lang maiwasan natin yung echo. Anyway, uh, siguro before tayo mag-start, uh, we'll just like to inform everyone what's going to happen today. So, Um, we'll be giving you tools. Okay? We'll be um, giving a walkthrough of some of the tools you can use for distance learning uh, to support uh, your distance learning um, uh, engagements. No, and uh, there will be five topics that we'll be covering. No, um, primarily we'll have um, keeping track of attendance, uh, checking assessments, uh, creating engagement for synchronous sessions, uh, online class management, and feedback mechanisms. Speaking of feedback, sir, no, yung feedback yung mic natin. Anyway. Uh, so, yun po yung five areas namin. Pero, teachers, gagawin natin is that uh, the last 30 minutes of our webinar for today will be an open forum, which means you can ask us uh, different needs, different things that you still need, uh, and we'll try to uh, to suggest no tools or uh, strategies or approaches you can use to uh, to um, uh, to address these uh, concerns no in your distance learning. Lalo na ngayon, meron tayong counting data to work with uh, about distance learning, how how, how it went, uh, anong pwede ating gawin, anong mga naging problems, challenges, uh, how else can we improve. Kasi, uh, yun nga, Sir, sir Jello, yung, uh, natin, uh, yung claim natin, uh, the distance learning will never be perfect. Okay? Katulad ng mga modules ngayon that's going uh, undergoing scrutiny, uh, criticisms okay, <laughs> sa online, na uh, sa social media, hindi rin po in totality na no, yung distance learning will not be perfect. That's why we're always here Uh, and the more important thing is we keep on moving forward and trying to improve uh, our, our our craft no, as teachers in this new normal. Okay, so yan po siguro yung ating gagawin. And Sir Jello, before tayo mag-start, 
siguro um like uh, to uh, introduce lang siguro um briefly no um ang uh, syempre gusto natin magpakilala no hindi naman tayo magpapakilala pero uh, siguro naman medyo may kilalan tayo ng mga audience natin again once again i'm uh, Franco Nicolo P. Adun i'm um, uh, Uh, um, the founder and uh, administrator of Kaagapay Teacher Support. And ako po si Sir Angelo. Again, uh, teaching in Saver at isa rin po sa mga admin ng Kaagapay Support Group. Yan. Okay, so uh, Sir Angelo, no, ang... Um, and we'll be... Um, before I mag-start siguro... Um, Let's give some reminders for the teachers. Um, again, teachers, uh, for this webinar, uh, please make sure. Okay, let me just uh, share it, Sir Angelo, no, for a while. Okay, so some reminders before tayo mag-start. Okay, always naman itong binibigay itong mga reminders na to. Pero anyway, let's just make sure that everyone uh, knows this. Uh, evaluation link will be given at the end of the training. Okay, so the first, um, all our live viewers will get to be prioritized for the evaluation. And then we'll have, um, uh, after that, after answering the evaluation, your certificates will be sent to you via email in five to seven days. And please, teachers, no? Uh, be reminded, mayroong short quiz sa ating evaluation. Okay, so um, please make sure that you really watch the the video, pa, uh, the, um, the webinar, so that you'll be able to answer them. And may passing score din po yan. Naka-indicate naman dun sa quiz uh, what's the passing score so that you're informed about the passing score. Okay? Anyway, kung um, uh, mag-fail naman sila sa assessment, uh, we'll give them chance, no? There's uh, a different link for re-answering the evaluation. But again, Um, just to make sure that we really learn something or we got something from the webinar. Okay, and again, uh, as always, lagi tinatanong sa atin, kailan pinapadala ang certificates in five to seven days po. Okay? Para lang po malinaw sa ating lahat. Okay? Uh, teachers, no, gusto namin mag-shout out kasi ang dami nag-greet sa atin sa, sa live chat natin. No? Kaya lang, uh, medyo jump up kasi yung <laughs> session natin ngayon. Medyo ang dami namin kailangang i-cover. So, maybe we'll, we'll do that later, siguro towards the end, habang nag-entertain uh, tayo ng questions. But uh, again, hello and magandang morning po sa inyong lahat. Okay, so, and um, siguro Sir Angelo, that would be it for some reminders. We can now proceed with uh, our first um, section of this um, uh, webinar, which is keeping track of attendance. How do we keep track of attendance? Kasi isa yun sa mga pinaka Uh, nagiging question, how do we effectively track attendance in distance learning? Okay, so uh, Sir Angelo, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give the floor to you now and um, uh, take it away. Ayan. Thank you, Sir Franco. Ayan. Uh, okay na ba, Sir, nung ano, ating uh, presentation? I'm, I'm sharing it now. Nakikita po ba ng presentation natin? Or hindi pa? Ayan. Okay. Ay, sorry po. Nawala ang aking presentation. Yeah. Okay. So, again, as uh, shared by Sir Franco, we'll begin with uh, looking into, or our main topic is equipping our teachers with the tools. Okay? And now, we will look into how we can keep track of attendance. Especially in this distance, learning in distant education where somehow hindi natin talaga nakikita yung mga bata or malayo sila sa classroom setting. And it really challenging. Sa totoo lang po, very challenging siya. Tracking students' attendance can be complicated in distance learning because one, they are at home and uh, we don't know, especially kung modular, di ba? Parang now, one of the challenges for teachers is to really give that trust to our students, to our parents, that they're doing their tasks. And now, ang i-share ko po is, uh, tulad sabi ni Sir Franco, mga na-experience na namin, or at least some data that since uh, in Saver po, we are done with the first term. So somehow we try our best to really do some tracking of uh, attendance, even if we are in online distance learning. So I'll be sharing three ways po on how we can track students' attendance 
even if it's in a distance learning. First, ito po, ito na discover ko siya recently lang, using Meet attendance. Okay, so for those who are using Google Meet, ito po napakaganda po siyang extension. This is an extension for um, Chrome. Okay, so makita niyo po doon. So uh, you just have to go to Chrome Web Store and then look for this Google Meet attendance. Yun po. Once you already have that downloaded, so makita niyo po sa taas, meron siyang check sign. At kapag clinic niyo po ng check sign na yon, it will lead you actually, there's a, an option where it will lead you to have your uh, Google Meet. Okay, so from there, makita niyo po dito sa site, Actually, you can already uh, download the list of names of your students. And from there, yan, so if you click the classes, you can just add, tapos we can add your classes. Or you can also do it manually. In this particular sense, may kita po natin na lahat ng mga bata natin na, na mag a ng Google Meet will be able to log in. At may kita natin yan later. Kung nga, nakalog in na sila. And ang maganda rin po dito is that, again, we can do it manually. Yan. So once we do it, so kung nga rin po, yan, uh, naglagay na tayo ng mga pangalan ng estudyante natin. And then we're waiting for them to to join. Okay, so as we uh, start our discussion, ayan, meron po siyang invite that you can share to your students. And then from there, may kita rin po natin that uh, uh, note there that you're uh, meet has started. In this particular sense po, kaya medyo parang matagal ako kasi I'm trying to do it na ako po ay studyante rin. Okay? Uh, in Saver po kasi we don't use Google Meet as our primary uh, uh, video conferencing uh, application. Pero ito maganda siya kasi especially if you are having uh, this particular Google Suite na uh, account in your school, maganda po siyang gamitin. So here, makita natin, so uh, you can already track kung anong oras nag-umpisa yung klase. And later, kapag uh, magsa-sign in po ko, uh, makita natin yon. Tapos there's a button here, itong check button, to take away the uh, kung anong display doon. Ayan, for example, ayan, I, I did uh, sign in in another account. So ito, kapag may mga batang hindi part ng klase nyo, you have the capacity to either deny them or accept them. And when you accept them, may kita natin, pag clinic natin later on, ulit yung check sign, which I will do in a while, yan. May kita natin, pag bukas yan, yan, pag inopen natin, nag-question mark. Yung question mark indicates that that particular student is actually not part of your class. It's either pwedeng gumagamit siya ng ibang device or gumagamit, or uh, hindi talaga siya part ng klase. And then, ang maganda rin dito, once you have uh, done that, so pwede na siyang uh, tuloy ng klase, at kapag nag-end ng klase, it will actually download a, uh, a report, like this one, on the on the side. So sa attendance, makikita na lahat no? arrival time ng mga estudyante, and also, kung may mga na-late, makikita ko ilang minutes siyang late, or kung may mga, ayan, dito the question mark, kung hindi siya talaga part ng class. So, may kita agad natin kung sino yung nandun sa uh, class, ano or sila dumating, kung late pa sila. It always keep track of that particular uh, attendance. So, it's uh, an easy way for us to be able to track the, uh, the, the attendance of our students in uh, using when we use Google Meet. So, isa siyang maganda extension. So, maybe if you are exploring Google Meet or using Google Meet, you can add this particular extension. Takas maganda siya. So, automatic na siyang nagbibig agad ng attendance. So, that's one. Okay? Another is, eto, eto nung ginagamit ko. I think uh, marami sa amin gumagamit eto. Using Google Forms. Usually, when we use Google Forms, ang naisip natin, quiz. Diba? Or uh, an assessment. But actually, if you try to look at it, marami tayong pwedeng igawin using Google Forms. And this one is one of them. Okay? We keep track of the attendance of their students. Ako, usually, what I do, I thought, uh, grade 7, uh, CLE attendance, because I'm teaching CLE. Before the class begins, I give them the link for this one. 
And then, ito nakikita nila. So, once they click the link, okay? So, uh, in Saver, we use uh, our access account, access mail. So, I ask them to write down their access mail, their name, their first name, and their middle initial, and then their class number. So, from there, once they submit it, I know that they have attended the class. Kasi it will generate that report na nag-attend sila ng klase. And even in the report later on, may kita kung ilan nung nag-attend or hindi nag-attend or hindi naglagay ng attendance. So from there, I can already call the attention of those students. And then uh, for us naman in Saver, for us to report it to our uh, office, the, the, the discipline, uh, we also fill out this attendance sheet. Okay? So again, Google form lang siya. So, pwede natin siyang gamitin as a way for us to track our students' attendance. Yan. And then the last one is this one. Since we are using uh, video conferencing app, uh, particularly Zoom, ang ginamit, ang ginagamit namin, ako madalas itong ginagamit, is of course, you look at the participants. In the participants, we have a specific uh, name or a format for their name. So, nakalagay din doon ng class numbers and everything. So, for example, class number one, uh, Malayari Angelo, something like that. So, yun, agad, nakikita agad yun. Pero, paano natin malalaman kung talagang present sila? Kasi minsan, if you are doing uh, an online work, syempre, ang kaharap mo is, katulad ito, kaharap mo is the computer. How do we know that they are really present? Especially, uh, one of the issues is uh, internet connectivity, intermittent uh, connection. So, some of them, for them to be able to uh, be uh, save bandwidth, what we uh, usually allow them is to turn off their video. So, paano malalaman na present talaga sila? <laughs> kasi kung naka-turn off ng video nila, pwede naman kasi nag-ano sila doon sa participant, nag-in nag sila sa participant, pero hindi sila na uh, wala sila doon. Ba? So, paano natin ginagawa yun? Uh, one way, again, it's more of trust system, but there are ways that we can actually uh, do para mas makita pa natin na present talaga sila, nakikinig sila. Okay? One is uh, using chat. Sometimes I, what I do in chat is I ask a question and then I ask them, please write your answer in the chat box. Doon pa lang makikita nyo na agad kung uh, nandun sila at uh, mag-respond sila. Kasi their names are uh, seen there and they directly share it. Okay? So, makita agad natin na okay, present sila. Okay, nandyan pa sila. Okay. Another thing is the reaction button. So you can actually say, okay, if you're present, if you're done, click the yes button. Or if you have questions, if you want it to go slower, to go faster, or nung mga ating mga thumbs up, yan, malaking tulong niyan para makita natin na talagang present din sila. Okay? And even annotate. Actually, sometimes, uh, ito ginakita ko ito sa anak ko, na kapag uh, papasagot minsan si teacher, Okay? For her to be able to know na nandun siya, bawat they're, they're presented a box okay, sa presentation, then they're allowed to annotate. And then from that, they will annotate dun sa kanila specific uh, class number. So dun pala makikita natin. Again, it's difficult to really say and ensure na sila ay nandoon. Pero these are some of the ways that we can actually utilize for us to hopefully Okay, keep track of their attendance. So, these are just three. Uh, maybe later on, sharing, baka meron na kayong mas mabigay, especially pagdating sa uh, remote learning or modular. I don't know nung checking of attendance. So, maybe magandang i-share din yan later on. So, uh, yun ang tatlong bagay na gusto kong i-share with regards to keeping track of attendance. So, uh, I think Sir Franco will now go to the next one. Pero kung may questions kayo with regards to the attendance, okay, you can already start asking. So again, these are just some of the ways that we do it. Ito parang sabi nga, uh, data. Pwede natin makita kasi ito yung mga na-experience namin na ginagawa namin. Okay? So, uh, Sir Franco. Okay. Ayan. Angelo no. Uh, siguro ako lang magdagdag lang ako no for for the teachers. Ako kasi ang ginagamit ko personally sa checking of attendance ko would be Google Form. So, sa lahat ng uh, classes ko for example sa Saviors, Ateneo, uh, I always do uh, Google Form. 
And um, ang maganda sa Google Form teachers, hindi nyo kailangan gumawa ng madaming forms. Okay? So, for example, uh, sa, sa classes ko, I only have one template. Okay? And sa template na yun, I only have, uh, for example, um, name, um, section, and then um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay? So, ganun lang yung ginagawa ko basically uh, every time. And how do I process it? Um, Uh, mamaya, pwede natin ipakita teachers, no? Pwede kayong, pag nagpa-process kayo ng data nyo, uh, pwede nyo gamitin yung pivot table. Uh, maybe I could show it now. Um, <clears throat> so, for example, teachers, no? Okay, for a while po. I'll just uh, share my screen. Okay. Eh, maganda dun, Sir Angelo, sa pivot table natin, hindi siya uh, nag-require na lagi ka gagawin. Kasi sometimes yun yung medyo mahirap pag nag gumagamit tayo ng Google Form. Tapos, ang dami-dami natin Google Form na, like, for example, uh, every day or every week ba tayo gumagawa ng Google Form? Ang hirap-hirap niyang gawin. So, yun nga, ginagawa ko lang. Meron lang akong one uh, Google Form na template lang. Tapos, copy-paste lang yun, no? Um, I, I just simply um, uh, copy and paste my uh, hindi lumalabas yung aking for a while. Sige, so okay. while, while we're waiting for Frank, Frank, I, 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 will, I will just, just like, like to, to share, share then, then, uh, uh, with regards to the use, use of uh, Google, uh, form. Google Form. Yeah. Uh, sa, sa amin uh, naman, sa akin naman, naman, sa akin naman, ginagawa ko for Franco is, is after each after class, class I, download I download it and then, and then uh, parang, uh, parang uh, refresh, refresh it parang it, 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 para same link same sila na sila na mm-hmm. pero again pero again maganda kanyang kanyang ute yes so mag share screen na lang ako sir no hindi ko makuha yung uh... yan Yan. Sir, can you see my uh, my Chrome tab? Yan, Sir Angelo, no? Okay. So, pakita ko lang yung itsura ng uh, attendance ko sa aking classes. Sir Angelo, paki-confirm naman if my window is showing. Yeah, loading na, sir. Loading na, sir. Yan, loading na. Okay. So, basically, ganda teachers yung itsura ng ano, no, ng um, attendance, for example. Um, so, meron akong, uh, yan, hindi lang, sir. Sir, syempre, kalaban natin lagi ang uh, internet, eh. <laughs> Patience lang, teachers, no? Okay. So, yan, for example, teachers, so meron ako dito yung master file of attendance. Okay. So, yan, marami kayo makikita ang copy ng uh, Google Forms, pero actually, teachers, isa lang talaga yan. So, for example, meron akong, ito yung uh, attendance ko, no, for, for one of my class. So, yan, meron lang akong example, uh, binabago ko lang yung dates, tapos uh, nakalagay lang class number, Uh, sir name first name uh, sir angelo napakaimportante tong name na to no uh, sana uh, very specific kay sa format ng names nyo kasi importante din yan when you process your uh, data no uh, and for example meron na akong dates so yan september 28 september 29 september 30 october 1 october 2 okay and then meron din akong sections okay and papakita ko sa inyo teachers paano ko siya pina-process so pag nandito na kay teachers sa responses okay makita niyo tong button na to Uh, view responses in sheets. Okay, so ilalagay nyo lang yan dito, teachers. So pag uh, clinic nyo yan, teachers, uh, you will um, uh, see now your uh, the, 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 no, ano lang natin para hindi makita yung yan. So makita nyo yung mga data na uh, na-collect nyo na, no? Okay? And uh, teachers, ang kailangan nyo lang dyan gawin, okay, would be to uh, use what they call the pivot table. Okay, so yung pivot table Uh, na data natin. 
So, yan. Okay. So, yung tinatawag natin teachers na pivot table. Yan. So, pag nakuha nyo na po yung sheets nyo, um, i-click nyo lang yung pivot table and it will open up uh, a new sheet for you, no? Yan. Sir, Sir Angelo, naglalag lang, no? Yan. Medyo naglalag. Internet yata talaga, talaga nung challenge yes, natin. Yes, sometimes naglalag lang talaga. Yan. Okay naman tayo, yeah. sir. Yan. So, pag meron na kayo teachers na click nyo na yung pivot table nyo, um, Click nyo lang yung create. Okay. Yan. So, pag, pag click nyo ng create teachers, dalabas na dito yung bagong sheet nyo sa inyong um, um, sa inyong ano, no? Sa inyong Google Sheets, no? And uh, to uh, manage this, meron kayong okay. Hindi malabas yun natin, sir, no? Okay, for a while lang, sir, ha? Naglalag yung aking internet. Yan. Hindi ko nakikita nung buo yung aking window. <laughs> ano yun lang, sir? Okay, 75%. Siguro habang inantay natin. Yes. Uh, sir Franco, is uh, yes. uh, to, to, to tell our, our audience, audience or kaagapay to, to Maximize, maximize yung technology, yung technology talaga. talaga. Because oh, oh. we can actually oh, we can utilize, actually that, utilize that, that for this, for this attendance, attendance checking. checking. Nakamit kay sir. Ang, ang purpose sir nung ano, nung Ang purpose nung uh, pivot table is to allow you to filter your data. So, for example, gusto mo lang makita yung um, attendance mo on September 1, on September 2, September 3, ganun lang siya. So, mamaya siguro if may uh, internet um, um, stab stabilize, no? Pwede na. Ay, yan. Sorry po, no? Pasensya na po, no? Tama po si Sir Mikoy, no? Nagkaroon tayo ng uh, uh, isa data privacy natin. Anyway, may, pwede po natin yung ma, ano na mamaya, ma-process natin mamaya. Maraming salamat, Sir Mikoy, for for the reminder, no? Um, sir, anyway, sir, um, yun, balikan natin siya mamaya for um, uh, other um, processing, no? So, maraming salamat for that reminder. Okay, so, yun. Um... Anyway, kay, kay sir, yun yung ginagawa ko sa aking Google Forms, no? Sa pag-process ko ng data. Kasi again, mahirap pag lagi tayong gumagawa ng Google Forms. Tapos, uh, mahirap din i-process yung data natin. Lalo na kung um, maraming data tayong kinokollect every day. Okay. So, so sir, um, punta tayo ngayon sa ating second um, part ng ating um, in, ano na, no? Uh, um, um, session for today, no? Checking assessments. Yan na. Isa sa pinaka- um uh, dreaded uh, part ng pagiging teacher natin no yung pag-check ng attendance napakadami po nating kailangan i-check na attendance no and uh here i will be presenting uh, several ways no to uh, mitigate yung uh, yung difficulty ng uh, ng pag-check ng ating attendance okay so Yon, ah, mamaya po sagutin natin yan, no? yung uh, pop-up uh, Google Classroom lesson. So, sagot po. Tingin natin pati mamaya yan. Anyway, um, so, punta na po tayo ngayon sa checking as uh, assessments. So, how do we um, efficiently check assessments? Alam natin, marami tayong ways no, to, to check assessments, Sir Jello. No? Uh, but now, um, let's now proceed on. Uh, um, how do we, how else, no? ano yung pwede natin gamitin na pag-check ng ating attendance. Okay, so teachers, meron akong um, several tools na pwede na present sa inyo. One would be the moat extension uh, wherein it allows you to uh, leave uh, audio comments on your students' um, worksheets. No? Okay, so gagawin natin teachers uh, will be um, okay, sharing my um, screen again. Okay, so teachers, uh, I hope you can see my uh, my screen, no? Okay. Um, so uh, the mode extension is an extension that allows you to provide audio comments on your um, on your students' works. Okay, so kailangan po natin siyang ilagay sa ating Chrome. Okay, so teachers, para lang ma-access ang ating uh, extensions, 
Uh, punta lang po tayo sa Chrome Store. Okay, sa so Chrome Web Store. So, teachers dito, no, pag uh, nasa Chrome Web Store tayo, um, you can um, download no, um, lahat ng mga extensions natin para sa Chrome natin could actually be found in your Chrome Web Store. Okay, so, ang hanapin po natin, teacher, ay yung Moot Extension. Okay, so, type lang po natin. Yan, Moot Extension. Okay. Yan. So, teachers, na po yun. Makikita nyo na kagad. Mo, mute, uh, voice notes, and feedback. Okay. So, yan po yung kailangan nating i-download. So, click lang po natin, teachers. Okay. So, teachers, once you're done, okay. Um, so, makita nyo po dito yung mga features niya. You can check it if it really is uh, applicable to you. And once you're uh, okay, okay, you can simply click on Add to Chrome. Okay. So, we can simply click on that. Add extension. Okay. So, teachers, no? Um, meron lang siyang hihingan, for example, dito na um, acknowledgements. Okay. So, click lang po natin yan. And then, we'll sign in to our Google account. And make sure yung teachers, no, kung saan nyo siya i-add na Google account, uh, dun po nakalagay yung inyong Google Classroom kung saan kayo nag-check ng inyong assessments. Kasi uh, dun lang siya ma-attach. Okay? So, uh, teachers, pag uh, ready na tayo, uh, pwede na tayo mag-start ng ating pag-check ng ating assessments. Okay? So, um, so for example, teachers, uh, punta lang tayo sa isang worksheet. Okay? Example, this one. Okay? Yan. Okay. So, for example, open natin itong worksheet na to. Okay. So, teachers, for example, nasa worksheet na click ko. No? I-refresh ko lang para po uh, mag-install yung ating mode extension. So, sometimes, so, pag hindi nyo po siya nakikita, teachers, um, i-refresh nyo lang po para lumabas yung mode extension nyo. Okay, so now teachers that I have uh, installed, uh, downloaded my Moat extension in my Chrome, pwede na po kayong mag-leave ng comments ngayon, uh, audio comments sa uh, inyong mga estudyante. Kasi sometimes, di ba teachers, napakahirap mag magta-type tayo na um, uh, ng, what they call this, um, uh, ng maraming comments, no? And uh, much, I find it, or I find it a lot easier, no, to... Uh, to leave audio comments. Ngayon, teachers, may bago na ngayon dito sa aking um, um, comment section. So, when I leave the comment, I could still leave a text. For example, um, this is great. Okay. Okay, pwede pa rin po yan, teachers. Pero, pag tinanggal nyo, teachers, yan, nakita nyo dito, meron na kayong um, um, the logo of the mode. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, teachers, yan, pag clinic nyo po yan, you can now leave an audio comment. Okay? So, allow lang natin yung microphone natin. Okay. So, teachers, for example, I click ko yan. Um, good morning. And uh, I find this uh, work uh, very comprehensive. And uh, good job. And uh, thank you for your efforts. So, syempre, um, sample comment lang na. So, click nyo lang, teachers, yun yun when you're done. Okay. So, once you're done, teachers, magli-leave na siya ng audio comment dun sa work ng student nyo. Uh, and then, click nyo lang yung comment. Okay. So, once you're done, teachers, yan. Meron na kayo ngayong uh, audio comment. Let's try to hear it. I click ko yan. Uh, good morning. And uh, I find this uh, work uh, very comprehensive. And uh, good job. And uh, thank you for your efforts. Okay, so teachers, ganun lang siya kadali, no? So, uh, you can actually leave an entire... Although teachers, meron lang siyang limitations. Um, sa initial niya, pwede kayong 1 minute and uh, 30 seconds, pero uh, pinapartition na niya into 30 seconds per uh, comment, no? Per, per audio comment. Siyempre, maganda, hindi rin maganda na sobrang haba ng audio comment niyo. And uh, maganda dito, teachers, is um, hindi niyo kailang i-ask or mag-ask na i- uh, that the students, okay, um, download, no, 
yung uh, moat extension okay so big sabihin the students can uh, um can view your comments okay can see your comments or can hear your comments even without downloading the moat extension okay and maganda rin the teachers lahat ng mga audio comments niyo are stored in your Google Drive so pwede niyo siyang balikan uh, anytime okay so ayun napakadali lang no so hindi ch chill lang yung pag pag comment and pag, pag feedback and actually teachers ang maganda dito, what i find it really interesting sa moat extension is that you can actually um leave a very comprehensive comment okay, without like typing so much okay and saka si students then can actually comprehend so much more no yung inyong comment uh, given its odd and much in in much more detail so i hope that uh, that helps you teacher in uh, in providing comments uh, before for example i'm checking assessments for example i'm checking essays it took me like like around 3 to 4 hours alam ni sir angela yan <laughs> na paano magcheck ng 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 mga essays ng mga uh, ng mga uh, ano namin, mga works no pero with the with the moat extension it only takes me around uh, one hour to one and a half hours and I'm done with one section that that's easy and my students okay, also um, uh, provided a good feedback that they appreciate na mas comprehensive yung feedback given that it is uh, an audio comment okay, so mas madali siyang ma and maganda rin teachers no hindi rin siya ganun kabigat uh, in terms of data okay so bisibihen student does not need uh, heavy data uh, to use and hear. Um, yes, sa po, Ms. Teresa, mas madaling magsalita kaysa mag-type. No? And it's not, it does not take that much data uh, from your student's end. Okay, so that's also one thing that, um, kasi again, we prioritize, um, um, what they call this, um, inclusivity no, for our students. We don't want to leave our students, um, 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 uh, exclude students because they can access your um, comments or your um, information or instruction. Okay, so next natin teachers um, also still um, on using Google Classroom. No? Um, ito naman I find it easier. Bakit? Kasi uh, kung, kung ayaw mo nang uh, syempre meron pa rin mga preferred no, na gusto pa rin uh, nagtatype pa rin kasi mas, mas uh, use sila doon. You can actually uh, make your comments much more efficient uh, by using what they call the comment bank. Okay? Uh, apologies for that. My, my my kids are playing in the background. Anyway, um, so let me share now. Okay, um, how do we um, leave or create a comment bank? Okay, kasi uh, isa rin yan sa mga uh, efficient way on um, um, handling no? handling your your comments. No? Okay, so teachers, dito ulit ako sa aking uh, worksheet na aking student, no? Uh, again, sample lang to teachers, no? Uh, you see it uh, really bare, no? Um, so, as, uh, aside from using audio comments, you can actually build uh, an entire um, um, comment bank for your uh, use, no? And this comment bank, teachers, appears in all of the worksheets, in all of the works that your students will be doing in your... Um, uh, in your class, okay, that's actually one of the things that I appreciate here is that you don't need to repeat all your comments. So, for example, uh, I'll, I'll leave here a, a, a comment. Um, this is great, but maybe you need to uh, expound and um, improve further your grammar and conventions okay so that's the issue no ang haba nung ano nung, nung comment natin um so pwede natin yung comment teachers for example and um once we comment the teachers uh, and si tingin nyo itong comment to would be general for others we could actually click on the three dots here okay so meron po siyang three dots dito okay and nakalagay dito add to comment bank okay so we can click on that okay so you could um, further uh, improve or change the, the comment that you'd like to add in your comment bank. So we can simply add that. And now, teachers, it's now added into your comment bank. Okay, so here, meron nandito yung comment bank niyo, teachers, sa side. Okay, so we click on that. Okay, makikita niyo lahat ng, um, sorry for that. Okay. 
uh, outline natin yan. So, dito teachers, makita nyo lahat ng inyong comment bank. Sa so, teachers, nandito na yung aking comment bank. Okay? So, lahat po ng mga comments na gagawin nyo um, will be um, uh, put here in your comment bank. So, you can make a list of like uh, a list of comments okay, na usually ginagamit nyo or ginabigay nyo or pinifeedback nyo sa mga students nyo. And you can add further, for example, um, uh, please um, improve on your spellings. Okay, so pwede po kayo magbigay ng ganun. You can add that to your comment box. So, nandun na rin po siya sa inyong comment box. And again, you can list that down, uh, all of it. And what's good about here, teacher, is that once it's in your comment bank, once once it's in your comment bank, okay. Uh, when you when when you make a comment, so mag comment po ulit kayo, for example, sa inyong mga students. Okay, so let's make a comment. The keyword, for example, okay, ala will already show your comment bank uh, comments. Okay, so for example, yan, I just simply type please. And nakatag na kagad yung uh, um, comment ko from my comment back. I can simply click on it and it now goes into my comment. And then I comment that. Uh, for example, I'd like to insert um, my other comment like that. Okay. So again, uh, it makes your checking much more easier and much more efficient. No? Um, so hindi natin kailangan again magsulat, magcheck ulit ng napakadaming uh, comments sa ating comment sa pag-comment sa mga works ng ating mga students. Okay? So So yan, so teachers, uh, nakadalawang tools na tayo, no? Yeah, so pwede pong ulit-ulitin, no? Of course, teachers, it only applies no dun sa mga generic comments natin. If meron tayong mga comments, for example, na kailangan ng very specific um, uh, very specific comments, then kailangan natin siya i-deliver uh, specifically. Pero for, alam natin na marami rin tayo mga comments na very specific um, uh, na, kaila, na, 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 na mga generic comments na pwede ting ulit-ulitin. So again, that, that makes your again, checking much more efficient and faster. Okay? So again, teachers, may dalawa na. No? Meron tayong mode extension for audio comments and uh, second, uh, the comment bank uh, provided by your uh, by, by Google Classroom. So yung mga gumagamit po ng Google Classroom. Yung last na po natin, teachers, um, ay yung paggamit ng rubrics. Okay? Uh, I already discussed that during our walkthrough ng Google Classroom, no? yung paggamit ng rubrics. Uh, kasi hindi lang si rubric nakakatulong na maintindihan ni student um, yung, uh, yung standards nyo no? for, um, for your assessment. Aside from the teachers, it makes your checking and feedbacking much more easier. Okay? So, um your uh, for example no I'll, I'll i'll share no uh, how uh, i will not go through the make of the rubrics i already covered that during our uh, discussion on um uh, google classroom uh, so uh, i'll just show you for example how it looks like kapag gumawa ka ng rubric okay so uh, i'll share my screen again Yan. Okay, so teachers, uh, kapag gumawa ka ng rubric, okay, sa so for your students, um, pag gumawa ka ng rubric for your students, okay, um, it will appear on the right side of your, of the student's work. So when you open the student's work, lalabas sa side niya, sa right side niya, yung rubric na ginawa mo, okay? And uh, you can easily assign the points to it. So for example, here, meron kang nakita dito mga bars, okay? And uh, nandiyan na rin yung mga, uh, yung ginawa mong levels of your, um, of your, yung mga components mo. So, for example, nilalaman, excellent means 5, uh, good means 3 points, and uns unsatisfactory means 1. So, when you, for example, click on 5 points, it will give the student 5 points, okay? And, uh, for example, sa kaayusan, uh, we only have no one level, no? Hindi na ayos yung levels natin. For, for example, 5 din siya sa kaayusan and uh, the student now have uh, uh, 10 points, no? You can still leave some comments, for example, very good. Okay. And um, you can now post that. Okay. Okay. So, and um, you can now return, no? You can, if you return the student's work, 
it will now um, send the, the, the score to the student. Okay? So again, teachers, no? Uh, medyo mahirap lang sa, um, sa start, no? Yung pag, um, pag uh, gawa ng rubrics. Pero kung makita nyo po yung benefit niya, makita nyo napakadaling mag-check ng pag, uh, pag meron kang rubric na ginawa. Kasi you can simply click and uh, um, yung mga meters na ginawa mo, if it's a very detailed rubric, you can simply click on the points per points that you like to assign to the student. Plus, the student will exactly know saan siya nagkamali. So, for example, may mali siya sa content, may mali siya sa convention, grammar, uh, etc. He will know it because he would see it in the rubric. Okay? So, kasi makikita, hindi lang uh, total points ang makikita ni student sa rubric. Makikita rin ni student dun sa kanyang rubric uh, saan siya, anong assessment, anong components, for example, in naka 5 points siya, naka 3 points siya, naka 1 point lang siya. So, it, it will, uh, on both ends, no, it allows you to check faster, it allows the student to know exactly ano yung mga mistakes niya. So, para mas maganda po at mas maayos ang ating feedback mechanism. Kasi teachers, um, I'd like to remind everyone no, na ang ating assessments is not only a measurement of our students' learning. It's also a way to improve their learning by a feedbacking mechanism. Okay? So, siguro teachers, yan lang muna po. Um, we'll go back to the other tools. No? Kung meron pa po kayong questions, uh, we'll... Um, Yes, okay, napaganda, uh, tama po, Miss Jaira, napaganda ng rubrics. No? So again, if you'd like to review the rubric or how to make rubrics, I covered that in the comprehensive Google Classroom walkthrough. Okay, so yun. Sir Angelo, um, maraming salamat po and uh, proceed na tayo sa ating next. Uh, like, siguro, Sir Angelo, will uh, let's entertain some questions first. Okay? Yes po. Um, so let's yes. take a very... Quick, it's already um 10:52, no? Um, uh, so let's uh quick check a quick a quick. Sorry, na kami po ulit kayo. Yan. Send some questions to our to us. Kung meron sila mga questions or like to uh to know pa, okay? Ayan. Uh... So, while waiting for some questions, yan po. So, pwede po natin ipadala uh, para masagot rin namin ni Sir Franco yung mga questions nyo po. And uh, we're try, we will try our best para mabigyan ng uh, sagot. Na nung, ano, pero na, uh, Sir Franco, just to, to share, napakaganda ng mga uh, sharing dito sa comments natin. So, uh, kumbaga, nung mga shinare nyo, Sir, some of them are being applied already by our teachers as well. So, talagang maganda. Ako, personally, natuwa ako dun sa ano eh. Kasi tulad nga ng sinabi ni Sir Franco, talagang mahirap po mag-check ng, ng essay. So, I really appreciate yung uh, um, mode para voice. Kasi parang mas personal rin siya. <laughs> Hindi mo kailangan mag-type. Then, mas nung, nung details ng feedback mo. And then, uh, I would like to second also, Sir Franco, pagdating sa rubric. As in, kapag detail po ng rubric ninyo, nung feedback po kasi mas clear sa bata. And then, uh, so like yan sa ni Sir Franco, it's for them to improve. So, if they want really to improve, makikita agad na kung saan sila may kulang, ano nung kailangan nilang gawin. Nakamute pa rin kay Sir. <laughs> sir, uh, Angela yan, may question lang from Miss Maria. Sir, ano nga po ito yung three ways of tracking attendance? Ayun. Uh, yun, uh, ang shinare ko po kanina is parang iba-iba uh, kasi nung ano eh, yung pwedeng nating gamitin. So one, if you are using Google Meet, so the extension uh, Google Meet attendance can help you better uh, keep track of the attendance of our students. Kasi doon nakikita agad kung anong oras sila pumasok, anong oras sila lumabas. So kita lahat yun. So sa report later on, uh, makita nyo nung kung sino nung mga nandoon, anong oras sila nandoon, kung sino mga dapat wala doon. So, do, those. Second is the use of Google Form. We usually use Google Form for quizzes, but actually, you can use that for uh, checking attendance, for keeping track of attendance. So, uh, nag-share kanina rin si Sir Franco. Sa amin kasi yun kasi nung ginagamit rin namin to keep track of uh, our attendance. And the last one is, kapag nasa, you're using uh, video conferencing, you can use the video conferencing tools available, especially, for example, Zoom, 
ang ginagamit nyo. So, the, uh, the attendance there, the participants will be one. But you can also ask them to comment. You can also ask them to do some thumbs up, mga reaction, para makita nyo na present sila, to keep track na they are still there. Even if, for example, uh, they're turning off their videos or their cameras because of the bandwidth. Yeah. Sir, na na sir, question dito from um nawala ko yung question. <laughs> from kasi may question on uh, if we can attach a rubric sa Google Forms. Nako hindi po hindi pa tayo makakapag um, attach although merong uh, feedback ang uh, Google Forms no. So, pwede po kayo, for example, pag gumawa kayo ng Google Form, meron kayong feedback per question. So, pwede nyo pong gawin yun. Um, you can ask, but it's only when you, um, when you convert it, I think, on, 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 uh, on, on to a quiz, no? So, pwede kayo mag-feedback on. Kapag ito ang sagot niya, ito yung, pwede kayo maglagay ng feedback kapag yun ang sinagot ng student niyo. Pag incorrect or correct answer yung uh, students niyo. So, pwede nyo pong gawin yun sa Google Forms. Pero rubrics or detailed rubrics, hindi po tayo nakakapag-attach ni, no? Nung, uh, um, rubrics natin. Okay, um, Okay, ito kay Miss Lord, uh, Miss Lena. Okay, did you give considerations while checking the work of your students? Like me, 10 years ago, I gave two points sa mga wrong answers for math problems. Ako po, personally, yes. Nagbibigay ako ng mga partial points, mga 0.5 points. Kasi, um, para lang to recognize, no? Kasi, uh, the, the, the fact that the student actually answered, there's that effort. Okay, lalo na sa amin, for example, sa social science, kasi ako, Miss Lena, no? Um, yung, syempre, yung mga ideas nila okay, cannot be totally rejected, lalo na marami mga subjective ideas or uh, uh, ano, no, uh, answers ng mga students natin. Okay. So, si Sir Angelo. Sir Angelo. Uh, ako, Sir Franco, kasi uh, sa CLE, mostly uh, in high school, we try to get away yung mga uh, make correct answer. So, in terms of essay, in terms of the mga performance tasks nila, we really give considerations. Actually, uh, just to share, pag nagpapagawa kami ng reflections, uh, we do, don't only have a specific answer. Sometimes, of course, mayro kami mga hinahanap, pero minsan, depende sa kung ano nung shinare nila. Minsan nga, uh, hindi mo in-expect na ganun nung ano, yung uh, quality ng reflection niya. Kahit minsan hindi niya na hit yung uh, mga ina-expect namin. But the way he reflected, we really look into that also. So, hindi lang po siya nung final answer. Minsan also the process, minsan also the, the reflection part or the, how the, the person reflects. So, uh, for to answer the question, uh, we also consider that. We give really consideration, especially for that. Except, of course, kung ang mga hinihingi po namin ay yung mga may exact answer. Yun na siguro nung medyo challenging. Kasi uh, kung ito talaga yung sagot, ito talaga yung sagot. Pero since we uh, try to make it authentic then, kasi that's also the challenge for this particular setup. Eh. We have to not only think of nung content, but also how can they this apply, this, apply them to, to, uh, to their lives, to their uh, situations now. So we really try to into it. Kaya medyo, tulad nga sabi ni Sir Franco, Checking on a special pag essay, medyo tedious po talaga siya. Talagang kasi hihimay mo at mabasahin mo talaga. But we also consider those things. Maraming salamat, Sir Angelo. No? Uh, siguro, two more questions before tayo proceed no, to our next uh, sharing. And sir, sir, meron din pala tayong commercial. No? Meron tayong uh, ipopromote lang na, na product mo. May makagustuhan maka ng ating mga uh, viewers. Anyway, um, Meron ditong question on, um, ito lang gusto ko lang address very quickly. Uh, pwede po bang i-customize yung screen during? Uh, I don't think so po pag screen sharing. Actually, nagkakaroon lang kami ng problema ngayon. That's why we're sharing screen. We're supposed to be sharing the window. So, pwede po kayo mag-share ng window sa StreamYard. Anyway, Sir Angelo, no, huwag kayo mag -alala. Sa mga nagano po ng uh, streaming, we'll be covering this. Meron tayong skills training series on StreamYard on Thursday next week. Okay, so, sasagutin po namin lahat yan. Um, Meron, yes po, Miss Mandy, no? Um, meron po mga rubrics. Ako, Sir Angelo, um, ako, tumitingin talaga ako ng rubrics online, no? Hindi ko, uh, kasi wala namang problema doon. Hindi ka naman, hindi mo naman kailangan mag, lagi mag-start from scratch. Actually, teachers, ako personally, ginagawa ko. Pag gumagawa ako ng rubric, 
tumitingin muna ako ng rubrics online kasi sobrang dami na pong rubrics online. And ginagawa ko lang, pinipili ko yung mga components that apply to my assessment. So, for example, content. Uh, con- how do I measure content of a uh, essay? How do I measure content of a, um, for example, a photo essay? Or um, a, a video, something like that. And I put it together and I customize it na lang based on my needs and my uh, assessments. No? So, wala pong, hindi po kasalanan yun na mag-download. Pwedeng, pwede po yan. Madami po online. Um, ito po, meron ditong concern si um, Miss Lena, Miss Lena po ito? Uh, si Miss Lo, Loverville. Sir Franco, meron pong nag-circuit na parang hack ng Google Quiz para sa mga students. Uh, yung control plus U, lumalabas po talaga ang answers doon. Nako, hindi po natin makonfirm yan. Uh, tingnan ko po, no, subukan natin next time. No? Um, itest po natin and I'll, siguro I'll provide an answer sa Facebook page natin. And I will also provide a solution how to go about it. Pero dapat hindi po ito nangyayari kasi um, just to be ano, no, very, very secured ang encryption ni Google, lalo na sa mga education tools niya. So, dapat hindi po ito nangyayari. So, yan. Okay. So, uh, Sir Jello, last question siguro tayo bago tayo mag... Uh, okay. Sir uh, Franco. Yun, parang wala na. Parang wala na, Sir. Ako meron akong ano, gustong balikan na question. Uh, it was a question for, for us both. Siguro maganda lang ba- tanungin. Uh, the question is from Sir Ron Lee. Uh, should attendance really graded, recorded in online classes? So, ano daw ang opinion natin doon, Sir? Kayo, Sir, ano ba ang opinion of with regards to grading that? Ako naman, technically, sa, personally sa akin, no, hindi sobrang ganun kabigat yung, um, yung attendance for me. Pero kasi, uh, for example, sa school natin, sa Saver School or Jello, no, meron kasi tayong mga standards na kailangan sundin. So, you'll also have to take into consideration that, of course, we are also part of a bigger school, a bigger institution. So, we'll have to take note of the policies of the school. So, for example, ako, sa atin, sa Savior School, uh, meron tayong attendance checking. So, we comply. Okay? We have to really check attendance for synchronous session. Um, pero ako personally, um, while I do not really take it against them, um, kapag, for example, hindi nakakatend si student, I, I, I pay attention more on why, bakit bakit hindi nag si student okay so more than the reason more than the the actual absences i'm more concerned about uh, bakit hindi nag si student okay so for example my, my way of monitoring my students for example meron ako nakitang student na three times na siyang hindi nag-attend ng synchronous sessions ko ibig sabihin baka may problema okay so i think more than um, grading them or taking against them it's more of like our our, our way to monitor our students okay? uh, lalo na ngayon sa grabe yung distance natin, um, mahirap malaman kung gano'n sila ka-engage and mahirap malaman yung mga situations nila. So, that would give us like a, a hint, no? Nabibigyan ako. For example, uh, meron akong student na five times na na laging late sa class ko or hindi nakakatend ng class ko. So, I had to call um, the, the kid at saka yung parents to inquire. Yun pala, nagkaroon sila ng problema sa internet connection. Okay? So, that, that gives me now uh, more uh, idea about the situation of my student. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-provide ako ng extra work or asynchronous tasks for the student. Okay? So, so yun, kailangan natin malaman. So, more than actually the technicalities of checking attendance na I take it against you, it's more of a formative uh, tool for us to know and help our students further. Sorry, sorry, Sir Franco, no, wala lang. Okay. Uh, ako rin, Sir Franco, I, I would agree with that. So more than actually taking it against them, uh, we have to consider that this is also an extraordinary situation for all of us. So uh, it's good. I like what uh, Sir Franco have mentioned, to know the why. Kasi minsan, kala natin hindi lang sila umatin dahil ganito, pero may problema na pala. So it's good to know why. Maybe uh, their wise can be valid na talagang, for example, internet problem. But if it's not valid, let's just say, uh, hindi siya nakapasok dahil may mga tinamature anything. So maybe it's also a time for us to process 
a time for us to to check in. Kasi nga, isa sa mga mahalaga, I personally believe, I think uh, both of uh, all of us in uh, Kaagapay Teacher Support believe that the the importance of relationship, building relationship with our students. And sa, ano nga, sa face-to-face nga, challenging na siya. How much more ngayon sa online distance. So, uh, more than just looking into, ah, ito hindi nag-attend, hindi nag-attend. Let's ask why. And if um, para sa atin hindi ka tanggap-tanggap, maybe it's also a teaching opportunity for us to, for them to be able to know the reason, the, the importance of what it means to to study at this uh uh, time. Siguro. Yun ang sa akin, sir. So, more than grading. Although, I don't know with DepEd, baka mer- meron silang standards. Again, sa- we have the standards. We have to follow certain standards. Pero, uh, more than that, we we go beyond the the structures and try to connect really with our students. And maybe through that connection, baka yung attendance niya is mas maging mas frequent na dahil nakita niya nung care, nakita niya nung concern from us. Sir, uh, yun, thank you, Sir Angelo. No? Uh, siguro, Sir Angelo, last na, no, bago, ako mag, bago tayo mag-proceed no, to our next. Ano. One, mayroong question on Moat Extension. Moat Extension could be found in Chrome Web Store or um, we'll link it in the description later on. Okay. Second, uh, Sir Angelo, meron lang akong addition. No? Hindi ko na-cover kanina. Um, paano nga naman pala po magbibigay ng feed, ng ano, no, ng... Um, ng feedback o tsaka mag-check ng assessment para sa mga modular format. Usually, well, yun naman yung very usual natin na ginagawa, di ba? Yung pag-check ng, uh, ng mga printed papers. I-, I think we're so used to that. Pero meron akong suggestion sa mga modular format uh, teachers natin, no? yung mga nag-print ng mga modules. Kasi ginagawa ko to sa classes ko, sir. Uh, what I do is um, similar to the uh, comment bank ng online. Okay? Ang ginagawa ko, sir Angelo, nag-print ako ng checklist. Okay? para sa mga assessments. Okay, so for example, gumagawa ako ng checklist ng mga ng mga ng mga comments ko, for example, uh, on grammar, on content, on organization, um, and then may mga may mga tick box lang doon. Okay, so maliit na paper 'yon. Uh, for example, in a one band paper, meron siyang four copies. Ganun lang siya kalit, one fourth size, okay? And then what I do, uh, I clip it or I staple it sa paper ng students. So, maybe you can uh, also staple that dun sa mga modules ng students. At sinecheck ko lang dun yung mga uh, applicable sa akin. For example, uh, check on um, lack content okay? or check on um, uh, improve organization, etc. and so on and so forth. So, pwede rin po natin gawin yan uh, to, again, make it make our checking more efficient and much more convenient for us. Kasi again, um, ang hirap din, no? for example, ng pagbibigay ng feedback, sa, lalo na sa modular format. Okay? Yon. So, yun, pwede po natin gawin yun sa ating uh, mga printed modules. Okay. Sir uh, Angelo, no, before tayo mag um, proceed lang sa iyong talk, no, meron lang tayo ditong uh, couple of products no na uh, kasi to um hindi na bibigay ngayon, pero kasi itong uh, products na to magbibigay siya ng prices for our catch up Monday on Monday. So, gusto nating malaman ma, 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 mapakita sa ating mga audience ngayon. So, for example, ito yung um ang kanyang um uh, uh, makita sa sa Shopee ang pangalan niya ay Time Out Tita. Okay, so ito yung mga product niya no. Yan, pakita ko lang sir. Yan. Sa so, mga inhalers to sir sir ja, sir ano sir Jello. Actually ang cute ng mga inhalers na to. Ito double inhaler to eh. Yan. Okay. Yan. So pwede rin tayo pwede pag lalo na ngayon sa panahon ngayon no, na mahirap yung ano. Yan. Yan. So please do check out uh, Time Out Tita. Sa, sa Shopee. No? I-link ko na lang sa comment section while you're having your talk, Sir uh, Jello. May, hindi ko pa nagagamit. So, baka ipamigay na rin natin sa catch-up Monday natin on Monday. So, again, uh, Sir Jello, let's now take on uh, our second part, our third part no, of our uh, session for today on um, creating engagement for synchronous sessions. Yeah. Uh, I'll just share po ng aking screen again. So, uh, many of this po, uh, mga teachers, you might have encountered already in different um, discussions, different webinars, even in Kaagapay. So, madalas po natin na ginagamit na po ito, mga uh, engagement tools na i-share ko po. Pero uh, siguro po, this is more on us sharing uh, more than what we usually 
do or what we usually use that particular tools or that particular applications po. Kasi one of the challenges, again, as I shared po kanina, on engagement is that we are on a distant learning uh, setup. So the reality po, uh, teachers, engaging our students in a face-to-face, -face, minsan challenging na siya. How much more if we are to uh, have it on a distant learning? So medyo challenging, mas, kumbaga, nung level, mas challenging talaga siya. Kasi, uh, one, hindi natin nakikita ng reactions sa mga bata. Two, sabi nga, there's an article that I have read, parang in a span of, what, wala pa yatang one minute, kung hindi natin sila makapture, they will be lost. Hindi na natin sila mahabol. So, paano kaya natin siya pwede pang uh, gawin na mas engaging? So, again, these tools that we have, or uh, we will be covering, are some of the things that you already know. But maybe focusing more on other functions or other parts of this particular uh, applications. So first, well, of course, uh, we're doing it in a contextual way. So uh, Sir, uh, me and Sir Franco is uh, on a distant learn online distant learning. So we use online uh, platforms and video conferencing para po uh, makonect do sa mga bata. So but aside from using just the video conferencing applications for video conferencing. Actually, there are many tools already that uh, we can uh, use and utilize para mas maging engaging yung klase. So first is the use of whiteboard. Actually, it's available for both um, Google Meet and uh, Zoom. So pwede po natin gamitin yung uh, whiteboard in order for us to make connections to our students. So uh, pwede kunyari, we have a, a particular Questions. For example, sa math, uh, we have a, 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 a question. Uh, for example, 3 plus 3 equals, and then you can ask students and just uh, share their answer. Just give them the, the permission to annotate. Then they can annotate. So parang hindi lang, parang siyang nasa classroom setting kasi parang nandun, nakita nila ng blackboard or the, the virtual board, the whiteboard. And then they're also the one answering it through their devices. So, pwede natin i-utilize yung whiteboard, actually, for uh, as a feature from this uh, two uh, video conferencing application. Then, another one is polling. Although this one, uh, ano pa to? On the outspan ng uh, updates. Pero soon, uh, both um, Zoom and Google Meet will be allowing. Kasi yung sa Zoom po, uh, if I'm not mistaken, dapat, ano siya, um, ang account mo is yung upgraded account, yung pro account, or the 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 account, the paid account. Okay? So, medyo mahal po siya, pero uh, through my readings, parang they will release soon, hopefully, okay, uh, a version na pwede siya during live session. So, pwede rin kayong mag-polling. And then, for Google Meet naman, I think it, you have to have the, the account, the Google Suite account para mas ma-utilize yung polling. But again, these are upcomings. Okay? But since hindi pa siya available now, later on, makakakita tayo ng iba pang mga applications kung saan polling can be utilized as well. Third is annotate. Okay? Ito, very, uh, isa sa mga powerful tool na pagdating sa uh, discussion, pagdating sa engagement sa mga bata. I, I have seen it not only in my class, but even in my... Uh, my grade 1 uh, son. So sa uh, grade 1, meron sila ma-activity na kung saan they, their teacher allowed them to annotate and they really annotate. At talaga makita mo ng engagement kasi excited sila. Although, of course, uh, hopefully we'll be able to control them kasi medyo yun yung challenge eh. Pag masyada sila engage, so they will just do certain things. So kailangan lang iyan. Pero this is, uh, for Zoom, it's already available. So pwede siya kahit yung uh, account, ng basic account natin. And then, breakout rooms. I think uh, for, again, for uh, Google Meet, lalabas na siya, updates soon, the breakout rooms. But for Zoom, you can already utilize it. So, hindi lang siya, para hindi lang ikaw yung discussion, pwede ka rin, uh, you can let them discuss on their own as groups, group works, and so forth and so on. So, utilizing breakout rooms is also a way for us to uh, utilize and engage our students. So, ibig sabihin, yung video conferencing app natin, 
hindi lang siya para sa video conference. You can also utilize their applications, their mga tools nila para mas ma-engage yung ating mga students. And then, other applications, again, some of you already know this, Mentimeter. Ayan. Uh, we often use Mentimeter, ako po personally, for word cloud. If I have, for example, a particular question uh, that I want them, and then parang reaction from my students, uh, a word, a phrase uh, to explain, for example, how they feel, I often, I often use word cloud. But looking into the types of uh, questions that you can use uh, in Mentimeter, and dami. Pwede ka magpa-multiple choice. Pwede ka magpa-open-ended question. Pwede ka magpa-scale ranking, even a Q&A. So even, for example, if you want them to ask questions after each lesson, you can have them do the Q&A. So kita natin, hindi lang siya one side, hindi lang siya isang bagay na ito lang ang pwedeng gawin. So pwede rin natin i-maximize si Mentimeter into this one. I think... Uh, just to share also, I use this uh, to help my my class, yung, uh, advisory class po, uh, kung saan ako ay part, to when they do their voting in uh, uh, president or yung mga officers nila. So, ginamit ko po itong uh, Mentimeter for them to have the multiple choice. And then nakatawa kasi, you have the capacity to hide the, the result first. So, pagdating, surprise, ito nga. So, ang dami na pwede pang i-utilize sa Mentimeter. Hindi lang siya word cloud. So, this is one thing to engage them immediately. So, you can have a hook question at the beginning of your classes and then do a Mentimeter. Okay? So, that's one. Then, of course, you have the Padlet. The Padlet, we often use, uh, use this for mga reactions nila or mga comments nila, discussion boards. But actually, you can also use it in different ways. So, aside from the the usual grid, the stream, the wall, the shelves. You can also use it for back channeling, actually. Parang chat siya. Pwede siyang gamitin. And then, uh, pwede rin siyang ask. Uh, if you want, if you are a history teacher or a geography teacher, pwede mga certain points. Okay? You use a map and certain points, pwede kayo maglagay doon. As you discuss, you can have those, ano, ano mga natutunan and everything. And then, timeline. So, makita natin, we don't, just need to use Padlet for discussion board. So, marami pa siyang pwedeng gawin. Okay? So, this is just, again, uh, maximizing, utilizing what we already have as uh, an additional way for us to engage our students. And then, Kahoot. Ito, I don't know. I think many of us have heard this. Ito, pag sa Savior, pag nagkahoot na, pag narinig na mga bata yung sounds ng kahoot, masaya na siya, active na. Kasi this is a, an interactive game. At maganda talaga siya, lalo na kapag live, nakikita mo agad yung reaction ng mga bata. So, actually, you can do kahoot even if you are online. So, uh, we often use it, parang bibigyan mo lang siya ng, uh, ng code for the kahoot, and then you can play. And then, ang maganda pa sa kahoot, meron na siyang mga questions na available. So, for example, you're teaching uh, science in a particular subject, for example, uh, parts of the tree. You can just type in there parts of the tree and then makikita nyo na doon. And I think even grade levels, makikita rin natin. Doon. And then may report siya kay immediate feedback sa mga bata. And then it's very interactive. Okay? Ang difference lang niya to the next tool that I'll be sharing sa quizzes is that sa Kahoot, the question is uh, shared first on the screen and then choices nung makikita nila. And then, sa devices nila, yung choices lang ang meron. But in the next one, the quizzes, yung quizzes iba naman. Ang quizzes is, parang ganun din siya, interactive, pwede kang magkaroon uh, ng exams or pwede kang magkaroon ng quiz. But sa quizzes, available na rin yung questions dun sa mga bata. Okay? So again, like what you're seeing now, ang dami na niyang mga uh, quizzes sa pwede kayo mag-explore. Pwede rin kayo magdagdag ng inyong uh, sarili. For example, you're looking for addition for grade 1. Just enter it at makikita nyo ang dami dyan. No? For grade 1, grade 2, grade 2. So lahat ng levels na gusto nyo. And then you can actually customize it. You can just copy some parts of the question and put it on your own. So you can create okay, uh, your own quiz okay, and you can uh, integrate other quizzes to your quiz. So, yun ang maganda din sa quizzes. And then, interactive rin siya. May mga feedback rin siya. I think one of the things that I appreciate nisa ng iba mga bata is yung mga memes. You know, uh, they are into memes, many of them. So, yun, makita. And you also have the reports. But one thing that is really nice about 
uh, quizzes is that they actually upgraded and do lessons. So actually, you can create your lesson using quizzes. Diba? So isang maganda siyang update. So for example, here, I tried to do a, a mini uh, lesson. So uh, creating engagement for synchronous session. And then it's, uh, you have the different subjects there. So you can just click any, for example, specialty, specialty to uh, subject. And then, yan na makita natin. So para siyang uh, PowerPoint or uh, presentation, PowerPoint keynote presentation, where you can just do, yeah. so there's a title, and then you can add some text, okay? Add some questions. For example, here, uh, what are some of the techno uh, techniques, okay, in, you can use in, uh, engaging our students to make in your uh, classes more engaging. So, pwede natin siyang gawin na ganyan. You can also have some images. You can upload. You can put links. So, may audio, may video rin siya. You can choose, for example, that picture. Tapos, ang maganda yan, again, it's a presentation. It's a lesson. So, you can actually add slides. And once you add some slides, Ayan, ang ganda. Kasi mayroon siya ng mga usual, uh, title, bullet, subtitles, title, text. You can also have the media, mga bullet forms, audio clips, image, and even uh, externalist mga YouTube videos. But it's maganda. Kasi pwede na siya may interactive questions. So may multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blanks, poll, and even open-ended uh, questions. And even you can teleport questions from that. So parang hindi na lang siya basta-basta uh, quiz part. So, pwede ka na rin mag-lesson within that particular uh, application. So, pwede mo nang i-share na lang itong uh, quizzes, itong uh, applica uh, presentation na to, publish it, and then pwede sundan ng mga estudyante. You can use it actually in synchronous and even asynchronous activities. So, for example, here I try to make a poll. Ano na kaya nung magandang way for ano? So, we have here Padlet quizzes, uh, Kahoot and everything. So, these are just some of the things that you can use. So, hindi na lang siya pang game, pwede na rin siya pang lesson. Okay? And then, of course, I think uh, many of us are familiar with Canva. Okay? Marami ako nakikita, lalo na sa mga public school that they're really utilizing Canva. So, in creating their uh, pages, in their creating their backgrounds, in, their cre in making uh, their virtual classroom more uh, the feeling of that they are there, the students are there, like a physical classroom. So, pwede kayo design And this can also not only for uh, you creating uh, presentations or creating pictures or uh, mga plans ninyo, but also for the students as well. So, maganda siyang atignan. And then, of course, Flipgrid. Flipgrid, I think, uh, na-share to ni Sir Franco sa kanya mga uh, katips, ng mga tech tips niya. But, you can use uh, Flipgrid for students to actually uh, share their insights. Okay? So, uh, lalo na sa pang mahiyain. So, pwede siyang asynchronous, pwede rin siyang synchronous activity. So, here I use it for my classes. So, uh, I ask a question, like the pray out loud question, and then I ask them to record their responses. So, here, kahit wala sila sa classroom or kahit nahihiya sila, kasi syempre in a, in a physical classroom or even in virtual classroom, medyo yung discussion niya limited. Diba? So here, pwede nilang express yung sarili nila, which is a good thing. And you can hear their responses, hear their questions as well. So pwede kayong gumawa ng mga discussion parts here. And then of course, the Ed Puzzle to make your uh, videos more uh, engaging sa mga students, you can add questions. You can add certain uh, parts in uh, certain places sa video kung saan mag-stop and then you have to answer the question. So, isang magandang way rin yan para mas ma-engage ang ating mga students. So, hindi lang natin pinanood ng video, pero within the video, we also ask them questions. Yeah. And then, I want to highlight this one. Kasi, uh, I know uh, for uh, for those who are doing online this learning, isa sa mga ginagawa natin is, of course, presentation. And one thing that I have realized, not only during this time, but also uh, even before, so face-to-face, -face, many of our students actually uh, appreciate a good presentation. Okay? So you can do it in Keynote if you're using a MacBook or PowerPoint if you're using Windows 
or even online, you can use Prezi. Okay? And even Canva, you can actually create presentations. And of course, quizzes a while ago. Share natin yan. Pero ito lang ng mga reminders ko pag uh, gumagawa tayo ng presentation. So, uh, many of us, uh, when we do presentations, of course, we have to have our content with us and our uh, ideas, our uh, lessons with us. Pero what do we present? Ako, ito, isa sa mga bagay na gusto kong i-emphasize, Less is more. In creating presentation, less is more. You don't need to put the whole paragraph in the presentation. You can just focus on important details. Okay? Our learners, many of them, visual learners. Marami nas naingganan sila sa mga visual. So use images and less words. Use images and less words. Show, don't tell. Huwag mo lang sabihin. Kita mo rin. Okay? Mas magiging makita. And keep it simple. Keep it simple. You don't need to make it extravagant. Okay? A presentation, a, a nice presentation is a simple presentation. Okay? But sometimes, you can play around okay, with presentation para mas mahuk mo sila, para mas engage sila. So, here are some of the things that I do personally. Aside from this, I try to really lessen my words to really uh, use images. I think nakita niya naman yung sa presentation ko. So, images. And I try to make it simple as possible. Ito, gusto ko itong emphasize You can use your presentation to give emphasis. So here, example lang, paggawa nito, I just highlight the emphasis. Give emphasis. Doon pa lang, para alam ng bata kung ano nung kailangan niyang tingnan, anong kailangan niyang malaman. Utilize animation. Don't overuse animation, but utilize your animation. You can use your animation to actually captivate students, especially no mga uh, lower levels. Tuwan-tuwa sila kapag very animated yung iyong mga presentations. Insert vids or videos and gifs. Okay? Isa sa mga gusto kong ginagawa is, for example, here in a presentation, to add gifs. Hindi lang siya uh, picture, hindi lang siya uh, captivating pictures. Sometimes, if you try, try to find GIFs na appropriate, it would not only engage your students, but maybe to make your point clear. And then, every now and then, it's good to play around. Okay? Sometimes, yes, there are rules, maraming rules that is a presentation, but you can always play around. Okay? You can always play around and check how your students uh, react to those. And then, uh, once na makaptivate mo ng students mo, then you can use that, use that, use that. So, I think yun lang na gusto kong i-emphasize sa creating engagement for synchronous sessions. The more that we try our best to, to engage our students in synchronous session, in this remote learning, the more that we hopefully, they will learn from our uh, discussions. So, yun. Uh, I hope, I hope. Diba, maraming, ano, again, parang Sir Franco, more of review ng marami sa, sa mga present natin. Pero I want to highlight na minsan a little bit of creativity, a little bit of uh, looking into exploring, marami pa tayong madidiscover dun sa applications na shinare natin ngayon. Thank you, maraming salamat. Ah, nagkakaroon lang po ng problema si Miss Lani Coros. Ah, Miss Lani, pa ano lang po, pag-refresh lang o yung inyong connection, baka lang po naglalag lang yung ating uh, connection. No? Uh, anyway, pwede po itong balikan later on for your review. Okay, so maraming salamat Sir Ergelo no, for that um, uh, reminders and also good, uh, important tools na pwede na-explore to engage our uh, uh, learners um, in distance learning. Lalo na si, uh, Sir, no, yung Mentimeter na ako, gamit na gamit ko yun sa classes ko. <laughs> Anyway, so sir, for this time now, we'll proceed with our um, second to the last section, which is um, online class management. Okay, so we'll not be able to tell you everything, no? Um, may kanya-kanya tayong strategies on, um, on online class management. Siguro dito, we'll be giving you what we use and what um, what, what are some other tools na pwede pa natin gamitin. Uh, so, uh, we'll divide it into two parts. Unang-una, uh, discuss ko muna yung netiquette, no? Uh, to remind us, teachers, and to remind maybe your students about how to um, how to uh, uh, act or behave 
uh, online kasi very important lalo na sa online distance learning tayo. And of course, uh, for the parents, may konting uh, tips then so that you could also remind your parents when you um, converse with them uh, about um, online class management or distance learning management. Okay? So, um, I'll be sharing a presentation very quick lang naman to teachers. I will not uh, go deep no? because most of this, alam nyo na po. It's just um, some, some sort of a reminders. Okay? Uh, Sir Jello, just in case magkaroon ako ng problem sa presentation or audio, please uh, do let me know right away. Okay? I'll be sharing my uh, screen now. teachers Yon. okay um let me just check on uh, before po tayo mag start no uh, check lang po natin kung nag-work po ang ating presentation. Okay, I'll just um, confirm it with Sir um, Sir Angelo. Okay, so we'll be looking at managing the online classroom. Okay, so yan. <clears throat> Confirming lang with Sir Angelo. Yun, okay na lang po. Uh, nakikita naman ang aking presentation. So, so teachers, no, reminders lang. Okay, so we'll be going, going with some reminders uh, on online etiquette. So ito po yung mga kailangan nating i-remind sa ating mga students, sa ating mga parents, at sa ating mga sarili din about online uh, netiquette or, uh, or, or etiquette or netiquette po natin. Okay, so uh, let's remind our parents, no? Um, things to remember. Okay, so... Uh, that they always have to set boundaries. Kailangan po uh, alam ni, uh, ni ni parents no when to uh, intervene or not to intervene. Kasi nga po ngayon, nagiging problema nila or nagiging uh, reklamo ng maraming parents natin. Sometimes is that most of them, uh, feeling nila sila yung naka-enroll. Okay? So, but uh, that could all actually be mitigated by setting boundaries. No? Alamin po natin kung hanggang saan lang dapat ang roles na mga parents natin. Okay? Make sure your kids uh, understand not all information from the internet are reliable and appropriate. So, um, also inform them that always to check up on their kids okay, about um, the information they're accessing in the in internet. Okay? Uh, make sure your kids are use, uh, using uh, user-friendly internet searches. Um, so, please make sure that uh, we also give our parents uh, some knowledge about which are reliable sources. That's why maybe uh, as teachers, uh, on our lessons, we could already uh, include no um, websites okay, or online resources that our students and of course the parents can access about our lessons. Para hindi po sila kung saan saan pumunta at kumukuha ng information. Okay, uh, make sure you uh, you know if your child is using social networks networking sites as well. So um, let's also remind our parents uh, about yung uh, management ng kanilang uh, uh, kids use of uh, online, uh, oh, sorry, no, social networking. Kasi some, alam namin natin, nakakapagod magsagot ng modules, no? Uh, and sometimes, yung social media, yung ating uh, way to rest and way to um, to to sort of like uh, take a break, no? From uh, answering our modules. But uh, if uh, they're taking too much time, no? Uh, and more time actually on social networking sites, then that might not be good, Okay. Uh, for uh, or for our parents din, ito yung mga do's and don'ts nila. Okay, so let's remind our parents. It's actually from uh, Dulwich College International. Um, so don't uh, expect the school day to look the same. Okay, so uh, when we talk to our parents, okay, we have to communicate to them that uh, online classes, distance learning is not the same as the classroom setup. Okay, maybe kasi sometimes nagkakaroon tayo ng ganung, nagkakaroon ng ganung uh, uh, impression ng mga parents natin that... Uh, Everything that was done before could still be done today or in our current setup. That's something that we have to clarify um, to them. Sorry. Okay. And um, and okay. And um, uh, focus or don't focus on the spent on time online. Because uh, sometimes we measure ni parents 
yung uh, effectiveness ni teacher uh, by saying or by calculating no gaano katagal naka online si student. Sometimes nga mas gusto pa nila yung naka synchronous session ang mga ang mga anak nila. And we have to communicate to them that it's not about how how long you spent online. It's about the quality of engagement that you made online no. Kasi um hindi hindi pwede rin natin for example magkaroon tayo ng 60 minutes or 90 minutes na synchronous session. Actually kahit sa actual setup natin na physical setup, hindi naman tayo nagkakaroon ng more than 90 minutes na session except for college or uh, graduate levels. No? Uh, don't play the role of a teacher. So, siguro yan po yung i-remind natin sa mga, sa mga parents natin na huwag natin silang um, huwag natin uh, uh, hayaan no? na mag- magkaroon sila ng impression na they take uh, the role of the teacher because they, of course, hindi natin yung expectation sa kanila. Uh, try to handle this alone. Okay? So, always ask them to communicate to you the concern. Siguro yun ang sasapihin ka um, concern na lang yun. No? Yung, yung kakaroon ng mga problema sa modules, errors sa modules. Sana ma-communicate din sa mga parents natin na dapat ang unang-una lang nalapitan kapag mayroong problema sa module or concerns about distance learning ay tayo yung mga teacher nila. No? Or para ma-resolve natin on our end. Hindi na po dinadala sa social media. Okay? Uh, do uh, help your child create and stick to a routine. Very important. Connect with the teacher to personalize learning and take the role of the encourager. So, so yan po siguro yung pinaka-important, no? Kasi parents are the support of our uh, our students at home. Okay? We really need them in distance learning. Okay? And uh, stay connected. Okay? Um, very important din po yan para we can always communicate with them, their needs, um, um, uh, and how to... Um, help further yung mga anak nila sa bahay nila. Okay. So, that's all for parents. No? So, w- teachers, when you talk to your parents, these are some of the things you have to remind them. Para din po, what, what's what's good about this? It's important to empower our parents kasi sila yung partners natin. Okay? Uh, if the parents are lost, if the parents are not in tune with our, our goals and our direction, then magkakaroon po tayo ng problema sa distance learning. And may hirapan tayong i-manage ang ating uh, distance learning kasi part po ng management nun, is allowing our parents to uh, to empower our parents. Okay? Uh, for the teachers, very simple lang yung reminders ko. I have only two reminders for the teachers in terms of your netiquette online. So, number one, be professional. Okay? Lalo na po ngayon, we're online and we're very open no? uh, as teachers. Okay? Um, so, we have to act uh, as professional as we can. Okay? I know uh, uh, it restricts us. Sometimes medyo rigid yung policies or medyo rigid yung expectations sa atin sa bilang teachers na kailangan ganito tayo dapat, ganito dapat tayo magsalita, mag-comment, mag-feedback, mag-post, etc. sa social media, etc. Okay? But I think uh, there's also value in that teachers no kasi uh, napakataas din po kasi ng uh, ng uh, ng 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 ating profession, okay? The 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 nobility, na, the nobility of our job is so high na marami rin tumitingin sa atin, lalo ng ating mga students. So, uh, acting professional and being a model, no? Be a model um, um, is really something that we have to do, especially right now that we are mostly online. Napakadali po teachers na mag, 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 uh, mag-spread, no? mag-disseminate ng information about us, lalo na kung we would not act accordingly at our profession. Okay? So, yan po siguro. Hindi naman kailangan super like very formal, uh, or um, very strict tayo sa ating mga sarili. I think there's just uh, that that uh, certain uh, level of professionalism that we have to carry on on online uh, setup. Okay? So, very few lang. Alam ko naman, teachers, alam na po natin yan because we are professional uh, teachers. And, uh, okay, so for our students, ito yung mga kailangan natin i-remind sa mga students natin uh, for, for their behavior online so that we can fully manage, no? our distance learning, okay? So, unang-una, uh, let's uh, always remind them to be mindful of their tone. Kung problema po minsan ng mga students natin yan, uh, sometimes, hindi nila na mind yung tone na sa, uh, sa online. Sometimes, yung all caps teachers, tayo rin po, ano, uh, wag po tayong mag-all caps pag nagpapala tayo ng messages. Kasi, yung po, all caps na yan could be read online as uh, shouting. Okay, so, be mindful on our tone online okay um, for our students always remind them to um, to um, when they're sending a message to always introduce themselves uh, to uh, use respect words um, etc okay 
Okay, be, uh, be polite and uh, direct, no? Um, sobrang dami po natin nare-receive na messages, for example, sa emails, etc. Pero, ang hirap nang i-process kung ang, ang haba ng mga messages. So, um, to to manage your um, online classes, always um, tell your your students to um, be direct, no? Be, 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 be frank, be, be direct, uh, be concise with your message, but be polite, okay? Um, all, all the time. And uh, always remind them to use the chat box responsibly. Okay, uh, most of us now are chatting, uh, FB Messenger. Naku, yan po, meron ako ng mga nakita ngayon na mga sharing sa Facebook on how uh, some students are um, disrespecting their teachers in the chat box, in the FB Messenger. And nakakalungkot lang po na malaman yung ganung bagay. Na. So, let's always train them. Okay, again, uh, if it if they they're not doing this, then maybe they haven't learned this. Siguro yun po yung siguro on a positive note we have an opportunity to actually teach them, okay? So, lalo na napaka-powerful po ng um, chat box natin ngayon, okay? Uh, be proactive in finding answers, okay? Ibig sabihin po, teachers, um, let's, um, let's be, uh, let's empower our students, no? Let's uh, always ask them na hindi lahat ng bagay kailangan magaling sa atin, okay? Uh, at hindi din po lahat ng bagay kailangan ibigay sa ating mga students, no? Um, wag natin po silang inspunted ng information because actually our setup right now, the distance learning, is such a great opportunity to teach our students that they are capable of looking for their own answers. Okay, so sa po siguro ang isa sa mga reminders, empower our students, okay? Uh, let's always ask them to check their grammar, okay? Lalo na po for submitting requirements, etc., um, even composing, no. Um, it's not about like uh, being perfect or anything. We're not going to take it against them, but maybe it's just sort of like a training for them, then, no? Lalo na pag nag uh, apply na sila, for example, when they uh, write their resumes, uh, they apply for jobs. Important din po na uh, very um, skilled sila in their uh, communication. Okay. Be formal when necessary. Okay, no. Teacher, nan when necessary lang naman teachers, kasi. Uh, I know that informality or informal language or communication or uh, informal uh, rapport, um, also, sorry, informal uh, settings or uh, communication builds rapport to your students. And importante lang po yun. But uh, let's also make sure that if, when it's time to be formal about things, okay, we also address things formally. Okay? Lalo na po sa mga students natin. Okay? Hindi yung, for example, uh, lagi lang naka-address na parang uh, barkada lang. Okay lang naman yung teachers, pero uh, I, should, I, I, I think it should not always be uh, every time. Okay? Be responsible with your task. Okay? So let's remind our students na they have to be, they have to own and res be responsible with their task. Hindi pwedeng lagi silang i-remind kasi lalo na ngayon, madami sa mga task nila ay naka-asynchronous task sila. So um, they have to manage their pacing. Um, on uh, accomplishing their tasks or else they will not be able to uh, accomplish all the tasks given to them. Okay? Uh, always inform them. Ah, sorry. Um, always remind them to be informed and read first. Sometimes, na, meron tayong napakahabang instruction, napaka-detailed na instruction and unang-una nilang makakalimutan na ibasahin yung instruction at magtanong kagad sa atin. So, let's always remind them um, that they have to be informed and uh, always know to read first. Um, acquire the information first before asking a question or even more so, making a complaint. Nako, yung unang-una po nangyayari, nagbimake agad ng complaint, wala pa namang um, information at hand. Okay? Uh, always remind them to think before you type. Okay? So, very important. No? Bago sila mag-type, lalo na sa social media, is uh, for them to think before they type so that they, um, they would not regret whatever they're going to post. And lastly, teachers, Let's still remind them uh, to be kind. Okay. Um, sana wag natin kalimutan to uh, to foster uh, and to promote kindness uh, to our students, lalo na sa online uh, distance learning or sa distance learning. Kasi ito yung pinakakailangan natin ngayon. Okay? Uh, uh, in the midst of everything that's happening to us, I think kindness is one of the things that we should never forget. Okay. So teachers, itong um, very quick no, uh, reminder on netiquette. Uh, reminds us that the online classroom is a partnership between the parents, the students, and the teachers. So teachers, for you to be able to manage your distance learning, you'll have to equip your students and your uh, parents to also manage themselves. Kasi uh, yung, yung three components na yun, yung students, parents, and teachers, okay? and of course, our um, 
uh, school administrators okay, are all um, um, managing the classroom. Okay? So, hindi po pwedeng kayo lang ang nagmamanage ng classroom nyo or else talagang may hirapan po kayo. Okay? So, kailangan i-empower nyo po, uh, inform your parents and your students so that um, you have an easier time managing your online classroom or your distance learning setups. Okay, lalo na kahit na po yung mga gumagamit ng mga modules. No? So, for example, yung mga gumagamit po ng module, dapat inform sila, for example. That's why dun sa session namin on module creation, one of the pages would be how to use this module. Dapat meron po tayong ganun very specific section sa modules natin para when the students open their modules, they exactly know how to proceed with your module. Should I answer the module uh, in specific time? Or it should be uh, on own pacing. How do I uh, um, uh, make a feedback? Or how do I get uh, a feedback from the teacher? Things like that. So, that, again, informed, empowered yung ibang stakeholders natin uh, in distance learning. Okay? Uh, and uh, as I've said, the, dig the digital world does not always need excellent netizens. Okay? For the most part, what the digital world needs right now are good and kind citizens. So, huwag natin po yung kalimutan. Okay? And um, last part na po, teachers, no? medyo binibilisan ka po. It's already uh, 11.45 and meron pa tayong question and answer for video conferencing. Na. Some, um, some tips uh, that you can use uh, to, to manage your video conferencing uh, sessions or your synchronous sessions. Um, you can use hand signals no? um, can read, uh, because using of hand signals can reduce interruptions, allow time to consider ideas, and engage all learners. Because sometimes, di ba, teachers, kapag nakatingin tayo sa ating uh, uh, video conferencing, sa gallery mode, no? ang daming mga uh, faces, and sometimes nagpe-present tayo, hindi natin nakikita yung mga reactions or may question ba yung students. Or sometimes kapag pina-unmute natin sila, ang ingay naman sa pagsabay-sabay na silang nagsasalita sa ating video conferencing. So, using of hand signals actually allows you to reduce that, to reduce the interruptions. Uh, but still, being able to, um, to engage all learners, ibig sabihin, he, you will not miss anyone. For example, yung isa may question, you'll be able to address the question without um, sudden or unnecessary interruptions. Okay. Ito po, teachers, meron ako mga nakuhang some hand signals from the internet. Uh, I will just link uh, in our description below sa ating uh, YouTube video yung, uh, yung sources natin no, for these hand signals para you can fully access them. These are actually articles. No? Uh, this one okay, um, is for... Um, Managing online discussions. Okay, so for example, you can use uh, this signal for agree, this one for disagree, um, add to. So if you, for example, uh, a student wants to add to the discussion or to the points of uh, a student, um, this one uh, means this is not um, taking a picture, but it's actually if you want to uh, paraphrase or quote uh, a particular uh, statement. No? And of course, you can also use this one uh, for asking a question, so if I have a question. So you can imagine teachers, no? you have uh, a full gallery of students, okay? uh, like uh, 30, 40 faces uh, in your screen. And you can, you can have these hand signals. Okay? You can easily address them okay? without necessarily uh, asking them to unmute or um, na magkakagulo yung classes, uh, yung online class nyo. Okay? Uh, there are more, no? you can search from the internet. This one, I also uh, saw this one. Okay? Uh, a different um, variation naman. Okay? The point here, teachers, is that ibig sabihin, pwede po tayong mag-device ng iba't ibang hand signal. Siguro lang po, ang important is that you have to train your students what are the hand signals you want to use in your video conferencing para they would know it and they would be able to use it. And of course, they would be able to understand if you're the ones making these hand signals. Okay? Okay, ito naman teachers, mga next ko na slides or hand signals are uh, for the teacher. Uh, also for the students, no? sometimes pwede rin na itong gamitin. So for example, um, if you can't uh, hear your student, instead of like um, voicing it out or calling them, you can simply say, I can't hear you. Okay, or that, that would mean I can't hear you. Or um, someone is asking or you're discussing, but someone is asking a question, uh, you can say, check the chat box. The answer is in the chat box. Okay, something like that. Okay, or um, you can conclude, for example, your discussion. For example, uh, we're done with the discussion. You can simply say, "I'm finished." Or the students could also use that uh, if they're um, on a task. Okay, they could simply use uh, that to signal you that they're done or they're they're finished with their task. Okay, uh, very simple. It's naman culturally, ito na yung symbol talaga natin for uh, for quiet. So please mute. Okay, 
So pag medyo maingay or madami nakabukas na microphones, we can use this one. Okay? Uh, this one is okay. Okay? Uh, this one, uh, I have a question. Okay? And this one, focus on me. Okay? Sometimes, for example, marami silang ginagawa or they're distracted or tingin mo, meron silang ibang ginagawa. For example, during your online class, you can uh, signal them without necessarily uh, shouting or uh, saying something. Uh, now, some reminders when you're using um, hand signals. Okay, review, reinforce. So review always. Review your hand signals. Okay, once and once in a while to um, to uh, inform your students and for them to practice your hand signals. Reinforce every time. Use it in your class, teachers. No, para ma, ma, ma memorize talaga nila hand signals mo. And of course, be consistent. Kasi um, if you use, for example, different hand signals for your uh, classes, okay, they won't be able to understand you. Uh, later on, okay. So it's important that you um, try to uh, make make sure, no, that uh, you be consistent with your hand signals. Para alam nila exactly what you mean when you make a particular hand signals. Okay. So teachers, madami pa um, na tayo pwede pang pag na no, sa hand signals. Pero I think this is one of the ways, no, to manage your online classes um, when you're doing your video conferencing or um, um, synchronous sessions, okay? Okay, um, okay. Sir Jalo. So, uh, aside from the teachers, meron, pa akong, meron pang pwede kayong gawin. Ako usually ang ginagawa ko sa classes ko, uh, meron akong, uh, ang instruction ko lagi sa classes ko is number one, um, uh, camera on if it's possible, and second, um, always mute their microphones when they enter my um uh video conference okay so yun sir jello uh, medyo mabilis na bin, binilis ako lang ng konti no pasensya na po sa mga teachers natin um uh, medyo mabilis lang po yung discussion kasi it's ready almost overtime and we'd still like to entertain some questions from our uh teachers meron pa actually akong gustong i-share no yung paggawa ng report but maybe we'll just um send that on a separate um uh video no um uh, or um, session with with our teachers, okay? Kasi ma lunch din na po nako baka magutom ang mga teachers natin. So yan, Sir Jello, um any uh Meron pa tayong 10 minutes, Sir Jello, to entertain some guests. Yes, so uh so far, uh, Sir Franco, isa sa mga tinatanong nila, of course, while well, waiting for the other questions, are our presentations uh, be made available? I said, yes, of course, di ba? Kasi gusto natin ibahagi talaga ito sa ating mga kaalabi. So, uh, ililink po ni Sir Franco dun sa ating Google Sites ng mga presentations. So, it's available for your use. So, para po mas ma... Uh, uh, mas makapag-prepare, ma magamit nyo po ito sa inyong mga online classes. Ayan, may, may question dito, Sir Franco. Is it necessary, really necessary today that parents must be oriented on the do's and don'ts and etiquette so that the learning process of students will be in good place? Okay? Sige, so ako po, uh, ako, uh, ako tingin ko doon, Sir Franco, Yes, because it's a partnership. Eh. It's not only the teacher, uh, uh, teacher's task to make sure that learning process is uh, happening, but it's also, in a way, uh, our partnership with the parents. Because sila nung mas kasama nung mga students. So, uh, natatawa ako parang may mga lumalabas na pakiusap. Not only in uh, learning process, but also in answering, answering uh, mga test questions, or mga assessments. Parang let them, uh, let, we are here to guide them, but let's not also do what they are supposed to do. Kasi kumbaga, sila nun dapat matuto, at hayan natin silang matuto. Kung magkakamali man sila, uh, then it's a learning process. We are all uh, in this together. So I think, Para sa akin, Sir Franco, necessary na ma-orient ang parents sa uh, etiquette and do's and don'ts para it's also uh, to strengthen the partnership and also to strengthen the learning process of the students. Yun, tama to. No? Uh, tama to, Sir Jello, no? Um, actually, 
I think this not a question, this more of like a statement, no? Talaga siya sabi ni Miss uh, Mandy na tama, kailangan talaga yung parents natin, we should be informed. Uh, yun yung kailangan nating ma-realize, no? Actually, Sir Jello, hindi naman to bago uh, yung parent-teacher collaboration has already been there for the longest time. At I think lang, siguro, because of the distance learning, because of the setup, mas na-highlight lang siya, okay? And siguro, mas nagkaroon lang ng emphasis na Um, talagang dapat mataas or malakas ang, ang teacher-parent collaboration. Kasi um, the school and the ho- home talaga, yung home-school uh, um, partnership, is should always be there. Hindi siya pwedeng uh, learning does not only, all, only occur in the, in the school. Kasi kailangan niya na-reinforce, nagagawa, um, napagpapatuloy sa loob ng bahay. So hindi po dapat talaga pwedeng uh, teacher lang. I think siguro lang ang nangyari lang din ngayon, Sir Jello, must na emphasize because of the distance le- learning the, the parents now uh, realize how important they are as well in the learning of their kids okay so yan po siguro and speaking of the resources sir jello no yan nakalink na sa baba uh, diyan niyo po makikita mamaya no hindi pa po, po namin na-post hindi pa po, po tapos ang ating webinar mamaya po namin i-upload diyan pero diyan po nakalink lahat ng resources natin lahat po ng past webinars that we were allowed to uh, to share our resources diyan po namin nilalagay so pwede niyo po yan diyan ma-download teachers, okay? Uh, but again, the update will be later on. So, um, and, um, yun. So, siguro, Sir Jello, no? one, one or two questions pa po tayo. Ito, meron tayo from Miss Marilyn. Sir, will you also give webinar how to use the applications mentioned for the engaging online classes? Um, actually po, yung madami dun, no? medyo madami na kami, nabigay na po namin actually yun. Review na lang po natin. Um, meron din po tayo sa page natin, mga uh, tech tips ng instructions on how to use this um these tools no so medyo mahabang browsing lang po kasi medyo madami-dami na kaming nabigay <laughs> sa web page sa uh, Facebook page namin so just please uh, go through it lang at makuha niyo po yan okay pero for example sir the Canva will be having a separate training for that um maybe in November we're still uh, communicating with the uh, Canva Philippines on uh, sending us yes bongga tayo sir no Canva Philippines uh, to send us a trainer on the use of Canva so we're, we're just waiting for their answer uh, kung uh, kailan nila mapapadala yung ating um uh, trainer okay and the other tools for example mentimeter padlet quizzes um and uh, kahoot uh, those uh, ano naman meron tayong mga tech tips din sa um, sa ating uh, pe- Facebook page na pwede nilang gamitin. Okay. So, I hope we were able to answer your question, Miss uh, Marilyn uh, Terona. Okay. Ito po, um, Sir Jello. Yan. So, uh, another question. As a teacher and parent, should classroom behavior be graded in a remote learning setup? Okay. Okay. Uh, Ako po personally, the same po as teacher and as parent. Uh, one thing that uh, I would like to stress with regards to uh, grading behavior, uh, sa saver po kasi magkahiwalay. If I'm not uh, I, I think Ms. Uh, Sir Franco can correct me kung tama. Pero magkahiwalay po yung behavior nila do sa mismong grade nila sa classroom. Kung maga nung, uh, for the subject, it's really focused on the subject. Uh, for the behavior, uh, there's also a specific uh, parang uh, measurement that we use para makita no, uh, behavior. Uh, personally, I would like to not look at it as a grade, but really more of as a reminder. So the grade that we are giving for classroom behaviors are not an indication na ganito lang talaga silang bata, but it's also an indication of what else can we do. Kasi tandaan natin po, talaga mahirap yung setup natin ngayon. Uh, and daming distraction. Even in us, uh, kumbaga, kaya nga, the challenge for teachers is to be really creative in such a way na mag-get natin yung attention, mag-get natin yung engagement nila. Kasi napakadami natin kalaban. Pag online pa lang, ang dami na. Mag-open na sila ng ibang browser, <laughs> mawawala na agad sila. So, it's also uh, for us to look into um, how we can further improve not only our teaching but also how the students can also improve on what it means to be human ako yun gusto kong uh, i-term kasi uh, we want empathy we want the to for for them to be able to be known but for also for us to to get to know them so the grading of 
classroom behavior is more for me as a formative way para ma-form pa natin sila na mas maging mabuting tao. I think that is one thing that we have to uh, consider. Comment lang, no? Comment lang from Miss Lena. Teachers and parents should cooperate and collaborate in handling students. Okay, dapat chat guidance should be oriented to them. Tama po, no? Again, uh, teachers, uh, kailangan po natin uh, maging kaagapay, di ba, Sir Jello, no? Kung, kayo, kung kami po ang inyong kaagapay, mga guro, yung pong mga parents ang gawin nyo rin pong kaagapay sa inyong distance learning kasi talaga pong sila rin ang makakatulong sa inyo. Uh, meron, syempre, meron lang uh, sort of like disorientation, sometimes medyo... Uh, and di, siyempre, we have to understand, hindi rin sila sanay because this is the first time they uh, they would handle this kind of role no na, na emphasizing role nila as uh, collaborators sa learning ng kanilang mga anak. So let's let's be patient with them and uh, and alam naman natin na we can always uh, we, we can share no yung time to train them or to inform them. At least inform them. If we can train them, at least inform them about things in your uh, school no. Lalo na sa mga policies, etc and paggamit ng modules etc no uh, may nagtanong lang kanina uh, can we use the presentation for their students yes po um, sabi nga namin lagi ni Sir Jello our resources are your resources so hindi po namin yan kailanman ipagdadamot sa inyo so teachers pag na post po namin sa website mamaya you can download it you can use it you can send it to your students uh, for um, for uh, for them no actually kung maiintay niyo po i'm recording a video on um, on the students net ticket. Okay, so kung maintain niyo po 'yon, um, please uh, do do wait for that so you could you could share it to your students para po mas maipaliwanag ko exactly yung 10 points na nabanggit ko on the the net ticket of our students and the parents. Okay. So, um, let's just wait for it. Pero kung hindi niyo po maintay, the PDF uh, na share namin mamaya sa website namin should be able to do it. Okay? So, maraming salamat po ulit and um uh, Sir Jello, um, siguro final message and uh, synthesis uh, from your end. Thank you po. Uh, I'll try to share. Uh, ako may itatry po akong i-share sa inyo. Hopefully, it will work. Ayan, let's try this one po. Nakita na po ba? I think I have to to move. Ayan. Okay, I have to move here. Yeah. So, ito, ito po pwede niyo rin pong gamitin to as a way for you to uh, present. So, sandali lang po. I'll just click the the present button here para mas makita. Ayun. So, kita niyo po ako. Ayun. Okay. Ah, parang hindi po ako nakikita na. Nakikita pa ba ako? Ano, ah, wala ako. Sandali lang po ah. Sige. Mukhang uh, not working itong uh, anong to. Sige. Uh, this is one way of uh, you can also utilize uh, the use of uh, other applications. Sige. So, present ko na lang po. Yan. Sige. So, some tips, just five tips lang po for uh, or reminders on distance learning. So, first tip po is do not lose sight of your goal. Whatever we want to do, whatever we intend to do for our students, do not lose our goal. Our goal is for our students to be able to learn. And kay alam ko po kaya natin to ginagawa lahat is for us to be able to make sure that learning will happen to our students or with our students. That's the first one. And second tip po, maximize and utilize what you have and what you already know. Teachers, ku ano po alam na natin, gamitin po natin, i-utilize po natin yon. Yes, maganda po na marami tayong alam na dagdag, pero maganda rin po na kung ano nung alam natin, we master it. We try to maximize it. Kasi napakadami pa po. Even nung mga simple applications that you already have, you already know, pwede po kayong explore pa. Napakadami na po pwede nyo pang gawin para mas maibigay nyo po kung ano nang gusto nyo ibigay sa ating mga students. Maximize what you have, utilize what you already have and what you already know. But it should not limit us to the third. Okay? Do not be afraid to explore and try. So, tandaan po natin, we will not learn unless we will not try. Diba? We will not know how this particular tool will work in our class if we will not try using it. 
So try to explore, try to use. And little did we know, we might be able to hit something that will really make our engagement with our students in this online or in this distant learning uh, setup. Fourth is be kind to yourself. Isa pong bagay na I think we always reiterate in Agapay to be kind to ourselves. Hindi po madali, hindi po siya a walk in the park. Our challenges for today entails so much of our energy, so much of our work. But at the end of the day, be kind to yourself. You don't need to master everything. You don't need to uh, make sure that lahat magu work. Of course, we want that. Pero again, may mga things na hindi tayo control sa mga bagay bagay. We only have to control. We only have at least a uh, big control to ourselves. So be kind to yourself. Wag kayo mas wag natin masadong uh, tignan na masama agad ang loob natin dahil hindi natin nagawa or din. Okay, be kind to yourself. And last one. Do not aim for perfection. Aim for progress. It might sound na uh, we don't want to work for prog for perfection, pero tanda po natin, in this world that we are, it's an imperfect world. Our setup is even imperfect. And if we try to just focus on the perfection, we will not reach that. Okay? Ang dami na po. Parang uh, sa news pa lang, ang dami ng mga nangyayari, ang dami ng mga kulang, ang dami na nakikita ang hindi maganda. Okay? But instead of working for perfection, I think it's better for us to work for progress. At least there is progress. We are work in progress. As we uh, go through this particular situation, not all of us are prepared to this particular situation. And so, make sure that there is progress. Kahit hindi siya perfect, basta nagpo-progress tayo. Hindi mahalaga na Perfect lahat agad. Kasi ang daming setup. Even in our classes, diba? Kung, uh, if we're handling so much classes, what one what works in one class might not work to the other. Okay? So again, aim for progress, not perfection. Okay? So yun po nung aking uh, simple tips to uh, hopefully help us in our uh, online distance learning. So sana po... Uh, Marami pa kami maibigay sa inyo. So, I think ito po yung talagang ano, ng kaagapay to be there with you, to hold hands with you, to be with you, to work with you. So, uh, kami po ni Sir Franco, ni Sir Jambi, napakadami namin actually mga iniisip na ibigay pa para sa inyo. Kasi we know you deserve the best. And uh, we are here together. Together we'll be doing the progress and together we will reach our goal uh, thank you so much uh, mga reminders mo sir no uh, mami may mga questions pa tayo sa live chat we'll, we'll be answering them later during the habang nag evaluate sila pero teachers no we can't extend no we do not want really to extend kasi uh, not because we don't want to share more no we'd like to share more kung pwede lang na 4 hours ang webinar namin ni sir Angelo gagawin namin kaya lang teachers you have to also respect no uh, yung time niyo po. So, we're very mindful of your time. Uh, lalo na it's a Saturday, you also have to rest, you also have to refresh, rejuvenate, and uh, lunchtime na po, uh, pinaka-importante yung pagkain po natin yan sa araw natin. So, uh, we will have to respect that it's a holy uh, time for, for all of us. Okay? So, um, anyway, teachers, no? kung mayroon tayong mga hindi na-cover, we're always here, we're on the page, you can always send us a message. Uh, we're just one message away. Uh, alam niyo na kung gano'n kami ka- uh, committed uh, to to help you and assist you. Sabi nga ni Sir uh, Jello, madami pa po kami naka-store. Naka-plan na po actually yung hanggang next year na. Hanggang next year natin. <laughs> Pero uh, kidding aside, no, medyo naka-plan na po yung mga next months natin. And it's, it's a fully loaded uh, month of uh, November and then December. no, And then further down the line, we're, we're not stopping no, uh, to, to make sure that you get the assistance that you need and uh, the support that you need for distance learning. Okay? Again, sabi nga namin sa, last time sa letter namin, we will not be able to solve everything for all of you. Hindi namin mabigyan ng solusyon, hindi kami ma hindi magiging perfecto ang lahat, pero ang pinaka-importante bagay, may lagi po kayong may kasama at kaagapay sa lahat ng ito. Okay? So maraming salamat po ulit. And um, uh, siguro po, uh, uh, some webinar reminders no, before po tayo mag... Uh, tapos uh, sa ating um, webinar na. No? Okay, um, and again, some, ito naman, lagi ko na rin binibigay, no? Uh, hindi na to bago sa ating mga teachers. Okay. 
So again, evaluation link will be given at the end of the training. And uh, after answering the evaluation, your certificates will be sent to you via email in five to seven days. So yan naman yung po yung commitment namin. Sa so far na Sir Angelo, hindi pa naman tayo lumalampas ng seven days. Yan naman yung, except kapag napunta po sa spam folder ang inyong certificates, hindi nyo po talaga siya makikita. So always check your spam folders after uh, five to seven days plus. We always post in our website, uh, in our page and website uh, when we already uploaded, or sorry, sent you your certificates. Yun. So maraming, uh, maraming salamat for, for that. Again, um, uh, we'll now be um, showing your, uh, um, your the evaluation link. Pero Sir Jello, no, bago tayo lang magtapos kasi uh, meron tayong isa pang offer okay? uh, na product. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, kasi merong nagbigay sa atin ng uh, 20%. Okay, 20% discount on the products. Okay? Uh, at uh, baka interested ng ating mga teachers. Dahil na ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, nung pagod na pagod tayo, kailangan natin ng uh, support uh, sa ating katawan. So, meron tayo ngayon mga products dito. For, this one is from uh, Yusana. Okay, yan. Okay, so yan yung mga... Pakita ko lang yun ni Sir Jello. No? Sir Jello, nag yusana ka ba? Kailangan mag-Yusana ka na din. Okay? So, yan. Okay, uh, mga multivitamins to, mga essentials. Okay? So, yan. so teachers, uh, if you are um, uh, interested, you can actually get um, 20% discount as long as you are a member of um, Kaagapay Teacher Support. So, yan. Okay, so pag po sinabi niyo na po sa agad, pag sa order form niyo, uh, na-identify po na Kaagapay Teacher Support member po kayo, you'll get um, 20% no? uh, discount from the, the USANA products. Okay? We'll be linking the the web page no meron silang um, facebook page um, uh, so we'll be sending that that on the um, on the chat box okay, if they are interested okay so teacher uh, sir jello um we'll have to say goodbye na to our, uh, to our uh, teachers we'll be now posting the um, the evaluation link that you can use uh, to do the evaluation Hello. Thank you. 
because the time is in practice.
ですか？